We're the submarines. I'm Blake. And I'm John Dragonetti. When it's time to let it go, heavy is the heart filled so full and sorrow. You can't help a single thing. I went to high school on a working farm and there was a lot of environmental consciousness and then when I came out of there I realized you know it was like eye-opening how few people were aware of even what was going on and so it's great that there's a whole new wave of, of interest and awareness. I mean, it's. I think a younger generation has really brought it to the forefront, and even now, like in the elections, it's being talked about. So I think it's it's really important and really good. It's really exciting to see a younger generation like getting more excited about it. do die out that's like my fear is that there will be this yeah, wave so of interest time. and then it may yeah. die out and I just hope that people will continue to innovate and, and uh, be interested. I think you know a lot of bands that are at our level um, or, you know, touring, they're, they're converting their vans to biofuel, the packaging you think about more, you know, with CDs. Recycled paper Recycled, yeah. and soy based so, things and that kind of thing. And also doing like, car you can do carbon offsets if you're touring for, you know, like your flights and, and bus trips and things. Yeah, so I mean, there are things at, at any level I guess we can do, you know. I think it starts with small things, you know, like light bulbs and recycling, you know, the obvious things, but I think those make a difference. And, you know, not ordering bottled water and, you know, there's, we've talked about getting a biodiesel car and, you know, there's lots to be done. Composing the music for a television series on the Sundance Channel called Big Ideas for a Small Planet, and um, it's, um, it's you know an eco-oriented documentary. There's different um, people every episode, you know, or, um, just in their daily lives doing you know innovative things that are, that are green, and, and it's and it kind of shows that it can be that it can be applied to anybody. You know. That anybody can make a difference yeah, in, in these yeah. smaller or bigger ways. And it's character driven, you know, they're like really interesting people. Um, but so that's that's been kind of cool, and um, uh, yeah, so you know, I do some composing work. Um, and that's just, um, well, yeah, I was, I've been working with um, the, the previous owner of this microphone, um, Doug Prey. Doug Prey, <laughs> man. He's the, he's the man. And um, uh, we worked on a documentary together. Um, called Surfwise, which is coming out uh, this spring um, through HD Net Films. And uh, Doug's amazing, and, and uh, so is his microphone. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's 
<laughs> this is his microphone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, he inherited from Doug. Well, this is reducing waste. I mean, this is a microphone. You, yeah, exactly. reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, the vintage Just stuff like always sounds better. It does.